All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there toiling in this truth. I'm Bathakamoth, GMS Dallas. And I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. Uh, I think I'm going to title this uh, The Nations Will Bow and Serve Israel. It's written. You know, so the first thing I want to do is because I'm going to revisit a uh, a uh, uh, a quick uh, excerpt from a video that one of the brothers shared in in in, in the uh, in the WhatsApp chat, and uh, you know it came out a while back, but you know the brother reposted it today, and through the spirit, you know I'm going to revisit it, and uh, you know just go into some scriptures, man, because that that particular scenario that you're going to see that i'm going to uh, play is 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 in the is scripture man you know what i'm saying but that's going to become it's going to become everyday life for these edomites and these heathen nations man especially these devils man the the, the these edomites the so-called self-proclaimed white people you know what i'm saying you know it's going to become an everyday way of life for you you know what i'm saying but the first thing i want to do before i bring hit uh, play that video that little short excerpt, I want to read this real quick to establish the foundation. This is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. And it reads, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So this is the Lord speaking, and he said that his word that goes forth out of his mouth is not going to return void, man. It's not going to come back to him without... Uh, uh, doing what he what he spoke man you know it says but it shall accomplish that which i please so the lord's good pleasure is going to happen man bottom line man you know and it shall prosper in the thing where twice sent it so that means it's going to happen man this these these words are guaranteed that's what the lord is telling you man so i wanted to i wanted to to, to bring that out real quick and now i'm gonna play this video this short clip from this from this this uh video that a brother uh, uh, posted in a, in, in a WhatsApp chat, and uh, this is the scene where, where where all these Edomites are are bowing to to Jake, man. Which Jake is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent, man. You know what I'm saying? This scene right here is 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 biblical, man. You know, it's in the Bible that these things were going to happen, man. You know, these people have no idea that 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 prophecy is playing out, man. You know, and the prophet Isaiah wrote about it, man. So I'm 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 gonna play this video, then I'm we're gonna bring the scripture out. But this is gonna become an everyday way of life for for you Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna bow, you you're gonna constantly bow to the nation of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 going to become uh, your way of life on the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me play this real quick and then we're going to get into the scriptures. Play that, I'm gonna play that one more time. I'm gonna play that one more time. You know, cause it's a pretty short uh, video. Look at the crowds, man. Everybody bowing. You're gonna see all Edomites bowing, and you're gonna see the, on the other side that who they're bowing to is all Jakes. Now I'm gonna play this one more time. And that's it. And I just wanted to say, you know, really quick, they're asking for forgiveness from their, you know, as he said, from our black brothers and sisters, which, first of all, we're not black, man. We're brown and, and, and they're red. They're not white. There will be no forgiveness for for uh, for Esau, man, for Edom. You know, if you are if you are an Edomite, you will not be forgiven, man. 
You know what I'm saying? You just you just gonna get that issue, man. So without any further ado, that scene right there is biblical, man. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you it's biblical. This is Isaiah. It's written, man. It's Isaiah chapter sixty and verse fourteen, and it reads, "The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down." At the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Zion, or the or the Taziyawan, or the monument, the remembrance of the Holy One of Israel, man. So there it is, right there, man. So them bowing it, 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 it's, it's written right here, man. You know that they were gonna, they're gonna bow, which that's the beginning, man, of which proves that that this America, Esau, his kingdom. Everything, this whole setup in society is through, man. It's finished, man. You know, Esau is the end of the world, and but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You know, new rulership is coming into the earth, man. And it's beginning and starting with our big brother, Yahawashai. You know what I'm saying? And, and of course, the elect, the one third, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and join L with him. So, so, uh, Again, it's uh, Isaiah 16 and 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee and who afflicted the nation of Israel, man. Every, every, all other 17 nations did. But this one right here under the, at the hand of Esau, Edom, you so-called self-proclaimed white people, has been the worst uh, uh, captivity ever. Period. You know what I'm saying? So it says the sons also of which that sons, it means the daughters too. All of y'all, man. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the, the city of Yahweh Shai, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, man. And that's exactly what that is, man. That's a beautiful uh, a scene right there, man, that we just uh, 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 watched, man, you know, because that's, that's, the pre that's a precursor to what you devils are going to be doing on a daily basis all day in the kingdom when you're not working when 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 you but but you're going to be bowing constantly man you know what i'm saying you won't be able to look us in our eyes just like we weren't able to look you in yours you know what i'm saying these things are coming back on you deuteronomy 30 and 7 you know the curses are going to be put on y'all man you know those that persecuted thee man those those, those uh uh those uh uh, as a matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and get it real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 7, and it reads, And Yahweh Bashem Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, which again, all 17 nations, but especially you Edomites, man, you so-called self-proclaimed white people, man. So these cur the curses, you know, which is which which in includes slavery, you know what I'm saying? Is is going to come upon you, man? And and when you're when you become slaves, man, oh, best believe you're going to bow, man. You know, you will bow down. You know, and then going back to, as a matter of fact, let's go back to Isaiah. When you go back to Isaiah 60, and you jump up to verse 12, it reads, "For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted." You know, and of course, that begins with with our big brother Yahushai, man, because you're going to have some of these some of these nations that's going to rebel. You know, these Edomites, man, you know, that ain't going to want to uh, uh, give up, uh, you know, the, the, the white supremacy, you know, those privileges. You know what I'm saying? These elites and, and, and you know, they're going to have a problem with with this, 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 uh, uh, the so-called black man who goes by the name of the, the true biblical name of Yahushai, you know. Whom the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ when he returns and takes that to take that dominion, man. Some of these people are going to have a problem with that, you know, bowing down and serving uh, uh, the, 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 the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans and Seminole Indians. They're, they're going to have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? But after the destruction, we know when when the elect, the one uh, uh, 44 comes down off of them chariots, man, they're going to have those glorified bodies and the spiritual powers, man. So you're not going to have a choice, Esau. 
None of these nations, but especially you Edomites, man. You're not going to have a choice, man. And they're going to gather you up, chain you up. And those who has a problem with it, guess what's going to happen? I just read it. Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. And, and, and to follow that up, let's go over here to Luke. Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. And it reads, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So again, that lines up perfectly with what I just read in the prophecy in Isaiah, the 60th chapter, man. Those nations who has a problem will perish. Well, Yahweh Shai said, those mine enemies, these other nations outside of the nation of Israel, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So he wants to watch you die, man, right before him. He wants to watch you get put to death, man, which is what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So you, you nations will bow down and you will serve the nation of Israel. It's written. We're going through it right now. You know, and that goes for all nations, not just not just these Edomites, man. So let's let's get into some other nations that's going to that's going to uh, uh, serve, man. This is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 14. And it reads, Thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. So the Lord is going to give them to us, man. They shall come after thee in chains. <laughs> that sound familiar, man? You know, does, doesn't it read the same thing uh, about the kings and the nobles? Being put in chains and fetters of iron, man. You know, same thing, man. They shall come after thee in chains. They shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee. That sounds like bowing to me, man. They shall make supplication unto thee. So these people are going to be begging. Saying, surely the most high is in thee and there is none else. There is no power. So. The, the, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is about to set his people up, man. Our big brother, Yahweh Shai, when he returns, he's about to establish his kingdom and, and reestablish his people as the as the uh, uh, top echelon, or how do you say that word, uh, 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 in, the, in the earth, man. You know, they're going to be reestablished. He's going to reestablish his people, man. You know, and and, and back during the time of, 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 of uh uh, the the uh, the disciples slash apostles when you read in the Acts the first chapter they thought the as a matter of fact I'm gonna get that they thought the same thing during that time man you know they thought it was time back then this is Acts chapter one and verse six and it reads when when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying Lord will will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. So they thought during that time when, when after the Messiah, uh, 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 you know, after his crucifixion, when he rose and, 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 uh, came back, uh, they thought, so like, yeah, they thought that, uh, that it was time then, man, for, for us to receive the, uh, the kingdom, you know, because we knew, you know, our people, we knew, man, <laughs> we knew what that represented, man. Yeah, man. So, so, so. Hey, there it is. When, when they, when they therefore come to, uh, co were come together, they asked of him saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel, man? You know, so we knew. So going back now. Because these nations, again, these nations are going to serve, man. This is Isaiah chapter 49. In verse 23, and it reads, And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. And of course, that's beginning and starting with the elect, man. You know, because the two third of hey, they they gon they gonna do their own thing, man. And they're already prophesied to be cut off and die. 
So this is talking about the elect, man. They're not going to be ashamed that they waited on the Lord, man. You know, and, and it says in Kings, which is the rep representative of the of the of the men. Shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens, which is representative of of, of the, the their females that they uphold so dearly here in this kingdom shall be thy nursing mothers, man. So y'all, just like it says in Isaiah 14, the 14th chapter, you're going to be servants and handmaids, man. You know, so you're going to, you're going to, you're going to uh, take care of our babies and our kids like you made us do yours, man. You know, y'all going to, y'all are going to be the servants and handmaids, but it says they shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. You know what I'm saying? So you will bow, man. You know, all of these scriptures are saying the same thing, man. Revelations chapter three. And verse nine. And of course, we know this is dealing first and foremost with the nation of Israel. But in these times, you know, it's dealing with who? Those Amalekites over there in the land, man. Revelations three and nine. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Who's the synagogue of Satan today in these times? Esau, man, the Edomites, those Amalekites, man. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. So you will bow down. You will worship at the feet of the uh, of the uh, of the Messiah, Yahweh, our big brother, our Lord and Savior. You're going to worship at his feet. So in joint air, guess what? That's going to be worshiping at, at our feet. As a matter of fact, let's get that. Romans chapter 8 and verse 17. And it reads, and if children then heirs, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him that we may be glorified together. So we're going to receive that glory with him, man. That's what a joint heir is. If you're if, if the heir of son something and you're joint heir with him, whatever he receives, you're going to receive. So when these nations bow down to the Messiah it, by default, you're going to bow down to the nation of Israel, man. Let's jump over to chapter 14. And verse 11, this is Romans 14 and 11, for it is written, as I live, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to the most high. So it's already written, man, you know, so these nations are going to bow down, man, and they're going to confess uh, uh, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So again, I just bought it out in, in uh, uh, Romans, the eighth chapter in join air, you know. What Yahweh Shai receives, his, the elect is going to receive, man. The nation of Israel, man, beginning and starting with the elect. They're going to receive that, man. So when you bow down to, to Yahweh Shai, you're going to, by default, bow down to the nation of Israel, beginning and starting with the elect, man. You know, it just is. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let's get that in Revelation, the second chapter. This is Revelation chapter 2. And I'll get to the point in verse 26. Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh. And keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, man. So if you got power over the nations, do you think that nation is not going to bow down? If you want them to bow down, you damn skippy, they're going to bow down, man. You know what I'm saying? Or get put to death. We read that in Luke, the 19th chapter in verse 27, man. You know, if you don't want to serve, you're going to die, man. So that's what these nations, uh, uh, especially you Edomites, you so-called self-proclaimed white people have to look forward to, man. But you will uh, uh, bow down. These nations will bow and serve. It's written, the nation of Israel, because it's written, man. You know, so, hey, with that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.